Ladies and gentlemen, this is Suleiman Umar Jallo Mojalanta Jai, or literally Suleiman Umar Jallo, the one who doesn't laugh with any idiots. But those of you who know me already know that. I decided to come and jump on this video just to keep you guys up to date with what has been going on with me for the last couple of years. 2021 is when I moved back from Qatar. I moved back to the United States of America, land of free, home of the brave. Location. And since then, I've been busy trying to resettle, trying to trying to find a job and get settled here. And what it what ended up happening is that I ended up creating my own video production company, and I've been very busy uh, getting it getting it up and running. You know, uh, um, the ins and out of, of of entrepreneurship. So I became an entrepreneur basically, and uh, it's it's not easy. It's not easy. But now that is up and running, I wanted to kind of take the time and come and give you an update on what's happening because and uh, uh, now that it's up and running, I have a little bit of time. So I think I want to jump back into making the videos because I, as you know, because as you know, I love teaching the beautiful Fulani language. I love talking about everything Fulani from the culture, the music, uh, the people, everything Fulani. Is what interests me and i know that there's about 7500 people on the youtube channel that sign up and that expected to get uh content all the time but due to lack of time of course i haven't been keeping up with my promise but i wanted to come back and i wanted to kind of reach out to you guys and ask you what direction do you guys think the channel should go uh should i keep keep just doing the the fulani lesson or what else do you think you want to see on there uh any any uh advice is greatly appreciated i think we should also note that there's about 50 million fulani people on earth and about half or maybe a little bit a little bit uh more than half speak the language a little more than half speak the the, the fulani language so that's kind of sad and i think the language is on the on the direction toward extinction because a lot of young kids now either they speak hausa if they're from nigeria they speak zabarma if they're from niger they speak some other language like wolof if they're from if they're from senegal or guinea in central africa and cameroon i don't know what the fulanis uh, speak there but maybe swahili i don't know but i know that uh, fulani is not the first language for many fulani uh, fulani families it's either some neighbor language or French or English. So uh, I think if you are out there and you know the language, just teach it. And if you can teach it, if you cannot teach it, just reach out to me and tell me what is interesting that you want to share with the world about Fulani language and Fulani culture. And I'll be very delighted. I'll be flabbergasted. I'll be very happy to share that. And maybe we could do some, some sort of collaboration um, uh, on YouTube uh, just to get the language there. Because if you don't do it, who else is going to do it? Somebody who doesn't speak it cannot help. So only those who uh, speak and understand the language can uh, actually contribute. So that's what I wanted to say for now. Sakirabi and Bandirabi are made of Salmon and Modon for Mieti on Achahake Jaffron, Achahake Jaffron, Mieti on Sunday.